three things you should know before you even start looking at rental listings. Now, you might be wondering, well, why should I listen to you? Which is a perfectly valid question. And my answer to this is I actually moved out by myself when I was 21 years old and have been living by myself for about six years now. I think six years, it'll be six years in March. So I have a lot of knowledge and experience when it comes to this topic. Okay, so I'm going to start with the basics, which I think most people already know, but I'm still going to cover them. So that is number one, you're going to need a job to obviously afford your rental, but you're also going to need a method of transportation. So whether that be a car or some other method of transportation, because it does depend on which city you live in, because I know some cities are more walkable than others. I think that's a term. <laughs> But, you know, if you live like, let's say, New York City, you obviously don't really need a car. Um, most people get around by walking or taking the subway. So that's why I said either or. Number two, your income should be about 2.5 times what the rental prices are going for in your area. And there are two factors for this. So one is obviously to be able to afford your rental, but also because most landlords won't even consider your application if you don't meet that requirement. And when I say 2.5 times your income, I'm talking about your gross income, so not your net worth. So this is before taxes are taken out. And going off of that, you will want to be working at the job that you're at currently for at least a couple of months. And this is for two reasons. One, it'll show potential landlords that you are responsible, that you can actually keep a job, but also because they want to have pay stubs a few months worth of pay stubs to be able to show them that you can't afford the rent. Okay, so now the third point, which I think most people, some people don't really consider when they're wanting to move out, but I think it's very important. And that is to have a savings account with at least $1,000 in it. And I say that that should be like the minimum you should have in your savings account. But if you can have more than that, that's even better. And this is for unforeseeable expenses. And if you have a used car that is, I want to say like 10 years or older, I would set aside a few extra more for just the car, so like $500 to $1,000 more just for your car because older cars tend to have a lot of uh, issues that you have to pay later down the road. When I first moved out, I had a 2002 Nissan Sentra and I think I had that car for about like, I want to say like two years, so not a long time, but I had to put in quite a bit of money because a lot of stuff happened that I had to get fixed right away. So one of those was, disclaimer, I, I know nothing about cars, so I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can, but j just so you know that um, if I say something wrong, that that's why. But um, I, I want to say it was like the water tank, um, it fell and it was hitting my tire. So every time I drove, it would make like a, a thudding sound and I had to get that fixed right away. And I don't remember the actual cost, but I want to say it was between 200 to $500 to get that fixed. Um, and then another time the radiator was leaking and that one I believe was $300 to get that replaced. And that was only with the two years that I had it. So it is better to get a used car, but if they're a lot older, they do require, you know, things to get fixed. So just be aware of that. But also like, even if you have a newer car, you know, life happens. Like I got a 2021 Honda Civic and that same year I got it, the windshield cracked. And that was like $500 after insurance to get that fixed. So like even if you have newer models, um, you know, stuff happens, life happens. And that's why you should always have the money set aside for those expenses. You could get a savings account from your regular bank. I would recommend going for one that has a higher um, APY interest rate. So for me, I personally recommend Discover. I have discover i actually have three of their i actually have three of their products and this is not sponsored i just love discover and i recommend to anybody i've rec i've recommend discover to my friends and my family so i have a credit card i have a savings account and i have a debit card and the reason i have the debit card and the savings account is because since discover doesn't have like a physical bank so you can't go and get your money out it's all online so what I do is I have a separate Chase account. So that's ch my Chase account is my number one bank account. And then Discover is my second. So the reason I have a debit card with a savings account is because I'm not able to get that money out right away because it is in a separate account. So if I wanted to transfer that money from Discover to Chase, that'll take a couple of days. And since this is for like unforeseeable expenses, you wanna be able to access that money right away. So what I did was I got a debit card with Discover 
so that if I ever need to get that money from my savings account, I can transfer it from my savings account into my debit card. It like transfers right away, so I'll have access to that money on the debit card straight away within seconds. So I can pay off whatever I need to pay at that moment. So if you do end up going with Discover Savings Account, which I recommend, they have a high interest rate. I think right now it's like three point something percent. I would also get the debit card so that you are able to access your money right away. So if you're interested in getting a Discover Savings Account or debit card or both, which I recommend, I will have a referral link in my description down below. Okay, so that's all the points that you guys should know before moving into your first apartment. I hope this video was helpful. And again, this is part of a moving series, so this will be ongoing. So please be sure to subscribe if you want to continue watching this moving out series. And like this video if it was helpful. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.